That DJ Strasser is alive today is nothing short of a miracle. It's been a year since this 13-year-old North Hallidon boy fell from a 40-foot cliff. But aside from the scar on his chin, to look at DJ, you'd never know it. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. DJ Strasser walks with confidence, without a limp, head held high. It's miraculous. It's been a year since this North Jersey 8th grader wandered into the woods behind a North Hilden soccer field and lost his footing on a cliff. He plunged three and a half stories into a rock quarry, landing on his face. His injuries were grievous. They were. But we were lucky enough that it wasn't anything with his spine or his brain. All right, let's take a look around. Dr. Hillel Afros of St. Joseph's Regional Medical Center in Patterson was the oral and maxillofacial surgeon on duty that day. The most significant, most challenging part was the fact that the whole front part of the upper jaw was just uh, crushed into multiple pieces. The gum was torn and the bone and teeth were fragmented and some of that was pushed up into the nasal cavity, so it was just a big empty space. DJ's chin was cut open all the way down to the bone. So what'd you have to do? Well, we saved what could be saved uh, and brought the pieces of bone down, tried to connect them with a titanium mesh, rebuilt the whole upper jaw with that titanium mesh that kind of looks like the screen on a screen door, uh, and filled it with um, a chemical that spurred his body to build new bone. The real miraculous part is that he has a new upper jaw that was created out of nothing. No bone graft surgery was required. And these guys are doing all right? Yeah. They're covered with bone now and solid as a rock and pain free. It's amazing from what he looked like to know that he can look like this from a picture without this scar here you would never know. What do you think of the work the doctor did? It's excellent and he's a great doctor. For now, DJ has a prosthesis to replace the four front teeth he lost. He'll be a candidate for dental implants when he stops growing. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Patterson.